Jamie must be excited it's finally here. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, round one's finally upon us now, and um, you know I think it's been a great pre-season from our group, and uh, really, really excited now to get up to Sydney. It's going to be a great challenge for us. Obviously, they're a fantastic side and have been for a long time, so we're looking forward to a big challenge. And uh, what better way to kick off round one? What would you say the pass mark for you this week? Port, Ad- Port Adelaide on the white boards. This is what we want to happen. Uh, well, look, we're not even talking results, or we're, uh, you know uh, that'll all get taken care of itself. We, all we've spoken about uh, all pre-season, we'll, we will during the seasons about what what we can control and the process that we'll go into the game with. And look, we need to make sure that uh, you know we defend our best uh, and make sure we bring a lot of heat to Sydney. And uh, like the stuff that you, you saw during the JLT and uh, Hawthorne on the weekend, if we can bring that best defensive effort, then you know, the results will take care of itself. You're expecting them to come out breathing a bit of fire, Trevor. After obviously lost the grand final, but I guess you guys have got equally as much to play for as well after a disappointing year. Oh, look, they'll they'll turn up no matter what. Uh, you know, Sydney are a quality side um, with some some high quality players, so they'll they'll certainly uh, they'll certainly bring their A game. There's no doubt about that. And whether that's there's any motivation from the grand final, I, I won't know. But uh, I know that they'll be a, a great challenge for us, and uh, we're excited for that. But equally, you guys will be keen to get on with it as well and start making. Yeah, there's no doubt. Obviously, pre-season there's uh, there's always a lot of talk over the over the off-season, the pre-season, and uh, a lot of training. Uh, and, you know, you can't really put anything out there on the track. So now it's time for us to go out there and play footy, and this is what we get paid for, and this is the exciting part of our job. Teams potentially going to be quite different to you know the last round last year with some new faces and Paddy back. Is that exciting to know what your you know potential is now? Yeah, it is. Um, you know, obviously having Paddy back inside, we've, we've spoken about over the last, seeing what he's been able to do over the last few weeks, and that's that's going to be really exciting. Uh, there could be a few debutants as well. Um, you know, we've seen what Sammy Palpepper can do, Brett Eddy can do, Dan Houston, these sort of guys. So uh, we'll wait and see if they get a game, but they'll be exciting for those guys to come into into the side. And um, you know, we've we've got a good list to, to choose from. It's been it's pretty healthy, so it's uh, you know it's all all pretty positive at the moment. But we'll go up there knowing it's a, a big challenge and and be excited for that. Just been pretty open about. Yeah, look, we've had certainly had enough time. We we started, uh, you know, back when we started preseason, we we um, you know structured up really well and uh, got down to uh, probably the detail on a lot of things uh, during training sessions, and then we were able to implement them in, in the three games over the JLT. And we thought by the end of uh, you know the Hawthorne game, we we uh, we could probably tick it off that we'd. We got out what we wanted to get out, and there's obviously still going to be improvements uh, in our game throughout the season, and uh, we're not going to perfect it every week. Um, but we think that we've we've certainly had enough time to, to implement it, and uh, we're excited to go into round one with knowing that you know what we've been able to achieve and what we've been able to do over the preseason is um, it will hold us in good stead. Is it vastly different game style? I wouldn't say it's a massive difference. There's obviously uh, you know a few tinkers here and there, and uh, you know around how you move the ball, how you defend, and this sort of stuff, and. Um, you know, it hasn't been too too complicated, and the guys have really enjoyed it. And I think that's the, mo- the, the most important thing. If you enjoy something and, and understand something really, really well, then you're gonna uh, you're gonna succeed with that. So uh, that's where we're at at the moment, which is good. Is that um, the process that you've put in place in terms of learning? Uh, do you think that's had a big impact on the group? In terms of in terms of learning and the processes of. of the coaches have gone through in order to help you learn exactly what they want. Yep. Has that had a big impact on the club? Yeah, huge, and uh, I think that's uh, it's been critical for our group certainly over the last um, you know twelve months is is how much detail and uh, you know how much time that our coaches have spent with each of our players and. Uh, you know, as I said, that's the, the most important thing is to able to understand uh, what you're what you're doing and why you're doing it. And our coaches have been extremely well in uh, been doing extremely well in in terms of talking and educating our players in in what we want to do and uh, and making sure they do understand it every time they go out on the track exactly what they're doing and why they're doing it. So it, it has helped a fair bit. Has it opened your eyes, even as considered a veteran? Has it opened your eyes about things that you you need to actually consider when you're out there and? Yes, make sure that you do this. Yeah, definitely. I think when you're out in the field and you're a player, there's so many things going on. There's so many uh, changes and uh, that, that that do happen. You do miss a few things, and, and coaches do sit up in the stand and see everything. And I've, I've probably sat up there a couple of times when I've been injured, and you see so much more of the game when you're up in the stand. And that's where you, where you do learn, and, and that's where um, you know you do need your coaches to to help you understand what actually does happen. You can take that back out in the field, and certainly as a leader to understand what's going on in, in games and, and the changes that do happen in games, that you can actually adapt to that. And 
Uh, so yeah, I think no matter how long you play the game, you can still, still learn every year, and, and that's certainly what we're doing as a group, and that's why we want to get better. You talked about controlling the things you can control, and I think you said um, if you can bring the defensive effort. Yep. That was the first thing that came out. Yep. Will the attack look after itself, but you just need to bring that effort? Yeah, look, I think uh, you know, in, in all sports and certainly in our game that... Uh, if you bring your your best defensive side, and look, we we know that we've got some great weapons offensively, and um, you know that will come from our defence, and uh, we understand, and that's what we've been training. Training is, uh, you know, if we bring out the best defensive game, then the rest the uh, rest will take care of itself for sure. Will Matty Broadbent come straight back on the side this week? Uh, unsure. Um, so he's still got a bit of training to do. Um, whether he comes back this week or next week, I'm not too sure. And yeah, that'll be a, that'll be a question for Ken, and that'll be a question that'll probably be answered later in the week. And he's still got a little bit to do, and, and we'll sort of wait and see on that one. It's pretty important to what you guys sort of do in the back line, though. You've got a pretty young back line anyway, so yep. the his experience there would be pretty good. Yeah, no, he certainly is, and he's shown over the last couple of years he does provide us with a, uh, a lot of run down there and a lot of leadership down there as well. Being a, a, a probably a veteran down there now and. Uh, works well with, with, with Jasper and Hamish and, and Tommy Jonas and these sort of guys. So, uh, yeah, he'll be, he'll be sorely missed if he doesn't play. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, there's, there's guys like Dan Houston uh, that can come in the side and certainly fill that void if he does get the opportunity. And, and we've seen Darcy Byrne-Jones over the last uh, over the last 12 months really fill a role as well. So um, there's guys that can come in and play a role uh, if Brogsy doesn't play. How have you guys as a playing group handled, you know, it seems like every other week we're hearing David Koch make comments like it's finals or bust yep. and it's... You know, we've had enough failure here at the club. How do you guys handle that as a playing group? Oh, look, we understand that Koshy's, um, you know, a passionate port man. Uh, and, you know, he has his voice and that's that's completely fine and we understand it. Uh, and we, we're on the same page. We, we know that we, uh, and every other club wants to play finals and we want to play finals. And um, we, we know that we haven't made, uh, you know, we've had two pretty disappointing years over the last couple of years. But... You know, at the same time as players, now we need we go out there and, and deal with the processes. Uh, you know, he he's 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 able to he's able to, to comment on those things, and, and we'll go out there now and implement them. And, and what we can control, as I said, and and that's turning up each week, making sure we improve. We walk in the door every day, we improve. We walk out knowing that we've uh, we've done something to make ourselves better, and, um, and that's what we what's what we can control, and that's what we'll be able to do. do you firmly believe that you're a finals team. Yeah, look, I, I I have no doubt that this group is is good enough to. To, to match it with the best sides, uh, it's about doing it consistently, and that's the uh, that's the thing we've sort of spoken about is uh, if we can we can do it consistently, we can match it with the best sides. But if you don't rock up every week, then you're, you're going to be challenged by it doesn't matter who it is, the the top side in the competition or the the side down the bottom. Will you stop and think this week at all, Travis, about 200 games and what that means to you personally? Uh, probably not this week. Um, uh, maybe maybe after the game, uh, I'm sure Mum will bring it up or something like that. But certainly uh, at the end of my career, I'll, I'll look back on it and pretty special. But this week's all about round one and a big big uh, big start to our season, and that's sort of all I'm focused on. What does it mean to play those 200s with one club, especially when uh, I mean, there was a period there where people thought you might be leaving? But you just stuck yeah, look, it is special. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it does sound a bit funny, 200 games and. Uh, I think 10 or 11 years in the competition. I don't feel that old. <laughs> it sounds pretty old. So, um, no, it, it is really special. I mean, it was it was incredible to put on the Guernsey my first game, and it was actually Treaders' 200th game that game, and I will remember that forever. And 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 now uh, now I'm playing 200 uh, in a number one Guernsey as well is is really special, and certainly something back I'll look back on and um, yeah I'll be able to tell the the grandkids and all that sort of stuff. So, um, but yeah, really excited to, to run out there with the boys and start kicks up the season against a quality opposition. We hear a lot about in pre-season people, everyone's playing in every single position on the yep. ground. Is your role the same this year as it has been for years gone by? Uh, yeah, my role will be the same. Uh, I'm not playing down the back pocket or anything like that. I don't think I can I can go down there and defend. Um, but yeah, look, my role will pretty much stay the same and uh, I've been a, a midfielder pretty much all my career and uh, as we see now, the game keeps changing. Uh, that you, you probably need to play forward a little bit more or you probably need to play back a little bit more. So my role last year, I, I played a little bit more forward and, and mid and, and that'll still probably be my role again this year. I'm just asking about Pal Pepper. Yep. We've seen glimpses of what he can do on the field. What, what's he like in the front? He just seems mature and ready, ready made all the time. Yeah, uh, really, really special kid. Um, you know, he, he is super mature for his age and um, you know, he's, he's pretty quiet. Uh, a guy that just goes about his business and... He just he just loves the, the contest really. He just loves footy, uh, and they're the guys you want in your group. And um, you know, probably ar around the club, and you know, he's pretty quiet and uh, just enjoys his uh, you know his, his mates and, and loves being around the club. As soon as he's out in the field, he just wants to compete, and he doesn't care who gets in his way. 
which is what you want from an 18-year-old coming to, into your side. So pretty special to have him, and along with Joey Attlee and Willem Drew and these sort of guys, you'll see over the next hopefully uh, you know 12 or 12 or 18 months that uh, they are a great group of guys that we've we've got in, and, and full credit to uh, to our recruiting staff who got them in. Has he had any nerves at all? Because he seems like he's just slogging beautifully through the whole JLP series. Uh, I don't think so. His first training session, he put Hamish straight on his ass, and uh, and then not long after, he, he, he I think he dropped Ollie as well. So he certainly hasn't had any any nerves. Um, I think. I mean, any young kid coming into a new group, uh, an AFL club, uh, you get a few nerves. But certainly, you haven't seen it when he's out on the track. He just goes out there and plays footy and. Uh, that's what we can get caught up in sometimes is, uh, you know, everything that goes with, with AFL footy. Just, just go out there and enjoy it and have fun and that's sort of what he's brought to the group and uh, it's, it's been good to see. So the traditional continues. So you played in Treader's first, uh, 200th in your first. Yep. And did you expect that uh, old Pe- Pal Pepper will be his first on his way to 200 in your 200? Hopefully, and hopefully it's the same result. We can we can stand in the, in the circle at the end of the game and sing the song and... Uh, after a 201st game, so uh, yeah, hopefully it's the same result. But yeah, it's it's quite quite interesting. Thanks, guys. Beautiful. Thanks, Thanks guys. Appreciate it.